we go. Anyway, this um, this is again. We're going for the feminist thrust this evening, so this is one of those. Um, nearly everyone has heard it, but there we go. Um, and it's about a year old now. So, rewritten from drunk scrawl in sonnet form, oh dear. The city is moist and sulfurous smelling in March. I am wearing Frankenstein's monster tights, darned and slashed and witch point platinum shoes. My cunt is aching. How to tell the men whose hands and eyes and words I avoid sidestep. They do in fact look deep into their crotches. We do. Women do. We ache to fuck too. We just don't want to talk to you on the bus, necessarily. <laughs> but we look. I look. And um, now I'm going to pass you over to Rebecca. <laughs> I'm very excited about the guests. We've got, the, we've got the very lovely, amazing, wonderful Rosie Garland, uh, aka Rosie Negosi. We have Sue Fox and we have Jackie Hagen. They're all amazing guests. Mm -hmm. All very amazing, wonderful, talented, and as I, said, I think I said in the email earlier, wild. I think it's wild That's pretty fair to say. Okay, I found it. It's called Kiss. Uh, okay. It's called Kiss. It's just a short sonnet. Something soft and warm like the inside of a pie. Your mouth is a gravy boat. I'm sailing to pastry heaven. Butter not squash me with your weight. Late as night blew cold air upon our town. Made mine by your touch, sending me down streets heavy with your step. Please stroke with your breath the inside of my cheek. Wanting you to keep thoughts of me like I kept the box of Indian sweets from Rush Home. Their congealing mass a reminder of me, parched by your absence, drinking in each inch of you. Your legs apart against concrete, a horizon of buildings rising and falling around you. Stand. <laughs> Okay, right, we'll be back after the break. As I said before, please 